Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Welcome to Kilco. I am Mr. K. Today is day nine of the Whiskey Advent Calendar done by the uh, Whiskey Tribe slash Whiskey Vault. I don't have it. I think it's Michter's today. But I do have a bourbon I can try. Just Henry McKenna 10. Second bottle, almost gone. <laughs> so good. Not worth the inflated price, to be very clear. But this is one that won uh, some kind of award. I forget the details. I didn't look it up. Because that's something anyone can do if they want to know. And uh, technically it's old news in the whiskey world. They won four or six months ago. I have no idea. But it was a while. And uh, they won for good reason. It's, it smells and tastes delicious. Oh, I didn't bring up my app thing. I have to do that. Ah. Uh, The usual. I don't want to start saying that, but yes, brown sugar, caramel, sweet, a little bit of oak. Ugh, it smells glorious. Now that's what I figured out, and again, we're talking about your basic notes with bourbon. It's I think that's why people don't some people don't like bourbons. And I think the reason is because of the simplicity of it. A lot of bourbons have a similar start. You know, you get brown sugar, caramel, sweet, sometimes honey, um, that kind of thing. And the oak. I mean, for a lot of times, that's pretty much it. But uh, there's usually the ones you can find that have a little something else. So if you get something finished in something, if you get something that is also, um, I don't know, double oaked, you know, that kind of thing, uh, a higher char. Things that make it interesting, but also change the norm, which is what you're looking for. You want something unique, you want something uh, interesting, you want something available in my world. I want something I can get, which is why, uh, once again, Wild Turkey 101 is one of my favorites. And um, Evan Williams' Bottom of the Bond has also become one of my favorites, simply because I can get it, and it's 15 bucks. I'm almost looking at the wrong thing. Henry McKenna. So you're not going to believe this. And I didn't look this up, I promise. The community notes for the nose pro profile. The <coughs> community notes for the nose profile are caramel, vanilla, and oak. What a twist. Um, for the official notes, do they have official notes? Hang on. What are the official notes? Are they even here? No, no official notes. Boo. It's just going to give me a little blurb. This bottled in bond bourbon out of Heaven Hill doesn't need the dusty old Irishman they drummed up to grace the brand with his moniker. I have Irish heritage, goddammit. But they had to call it something so Henny Merkella. It is. It is big, bold, spicy, and a great choice for an old fashioned. Really? We can make it two drinks. We'll take this and then make the old fashioned to find out for certain if that's true. No notes though. Um, it's a 50%. I didn't mention that. I believe the Michter's was a 40 something, 43 ish probably. And it, the list price here is $35 ish. Keep that in mind. Is it really good? Yes. Did it win an award for a reason? Yes. Is it worth more than $35? No. Don't do that. Okay, nose profile is exactly what I said, uh, unfortunately. I missed the vanilla, but that is, I kind of mixed that with the caramel, I think, in my head. Nice and spicy, a little tingly. And, ow. Every time, baby. That's why I love it. Hurts so good. 
Come on, baby, make it hurt so good. I won't start singing, I promise. This time. Taste. Spicy caramel, oak, vanilla, cinnamon, toffee. Ooh, yes. That's the kind of thing I, I like to hear. That's why I read these uh, on my on these videos now, is because there's always something I was like, yeah, I completely agree. I would have not thought of that. Toffee. Yes, again, sweet candy. Mm. And I do equate that to like a caramel candy. So in my head, it might be one of those other sorts of things. You know, those hard candies. You know what they are. And let's see for the finish. Pepper, spicy, oak, and vanilla. This is as basic a bourbon as you can get. But holy crap, is it good. It's really hard to explain that something that is so basic bourbon on every level, especially considering the app, and even my opinion, it's it's something that will bring you in, and because it's a higher proof, I just love that. I think that's really what sold me on the Henry McKenna 10, is, is quintessential bourbon, as many of these are, higher proof, which I like. It's got all the flavors I want. It's got everything I adore in bourbon, much like Wild Turkey 101, but there's something about this that kind of just... I think it's it's most likely just the fact that it won some award that just pushes it a little higher. Much like with um, my personal Wild Turkey 101, if I can get a Wild Turkey Rare Breed, whew, it's just a little better. Nothing crazy, but uh, I do like it just a little more than the basic uh, 101. But that's day nine, for me anyway. Um, I'd like to try Mictor someday, it's on the list. I'm going to have to start buying some nips and stuff because I'm realizing I'm low on bourbons and there's quite a few remaining. Uh, we still got a number of days ahead of us. Not all of them are scotch, but I believe tomorrow is a peated scotch. I think it's our big 10. Not certain. But until next time, won't you? Don't mean to make it old fashioned, I think. <laughs>